finally, ladies and gentlemen, counsel argued that the court itself, when counsel was arguing, you know, uh, the objection he had raised, made a point that, counsel, are you saying that she is stopped from, you know, changing her mind? I'm sure you all remember one of the justices of the bench asking lawyer Chachuchikata then that, oh, so can't she change her mind? It was all in reference to the issue of Estopel. So why did the court did not make reference to that and deal with that in this ruling for us is a grave, um, if you like, um, violation of the law. Now, in the court's decision on the matter, they simply said that they disagree with us because we have not shown that these fundamental errors of law have occasioned any miscarriage of justice to the petitioner. And that is why we vehemently disagree with the court. We respectfully but vehemently disagree with the court because these applications are not being brought for nothing. We believe that in line with Article 19, you know, Clause 13 of the 1992 Constitution and Section 26 of the Evidence Act, G. Mensa must be made to testify based on her own election and to answer questions that are germane to the issues before the court. And that refusing that would deny the petition of fair hearing. What else do we need to prove because before the court will know that their non-compliance with Section 26, respectfully, has occasioned a miscarriage of justice to the petitioner. Because I, that is without saying, it is a given that their non-compliance has occasioned a miscarriage of justice to us. So what we want to tell Ghanaians who are watching this briefing, particularly the over 6 million Ghanaians who voted for His Excellency John Dramani Mahama, is that some of these decisions are not going in our favor. And there is a tendency for some of you to be crestfallen and sad. But we are standing here as leaders who have the authority of His Excellency John Dramani Mahama to tell you that don't give up and don't give in. Chain up, square up your shoulders, because no matter how this court decision will go, no matter how it will go, Ghanaians, all of us are descending. The world is watching and we will all know the truth for ourselves.